Hi judges, thank you so much for being here. I am Mrs. Coates, I'm the coach at Albion Middle School and I've run the extent prep room for about the last seven years. So let me give you some tips and tricks to make your judging experience better and also make it extra effective for these debaters that you're judging. So on the extent ballot, if you'll see, this top part is what you would fill in before the contestants start speaking. So take some time and let them get checked in. Um, this information is very important in terms of the computer software we use, so please um, write carefully. Make sure you write their first and last name. If they don't know their code or you don't know the code, that's okay, but definitely get first and last name. Tell us the round. Speaker time really matters. Basically, the longer they speak for, the better. Four minutes is the maximum. They technically do have a uh, grace period of 30 seconds, but most debaters know they're not supposed to plan on using that unless they really have to. The debaters are trained in the extent prep room by me that they should bring their actual question that they drew uh, and give it to you so that you can put it in this spot right here. Please write your first and last name very legibly, just in case we need to follow up with you at all, that we can know who to come talk to and tell us where you're from. So um, the directions here, you can obviously read yourself, but basically remember that you are judging 12, 13, and 14 year olds who are nervous and want to do well. They're also looking for you as the example for professionalism and treating this like a serious uh, tournament, which it is. Um, many of you are debaters yourself and you know how important it is to get a judge who cares and takes it seriously. So things that, to remember that basically extemporaneous is a four minute speech given after 20 minutes of prep. So the typical extemporaneous speaker, here's their experience. Um, before the tournament, they spend a lot of time reading the news and focusing their research on the topic areas that the district has chosen or the state, whoever the tournament is being run by. And they're supposed to show how knowledgeable they are because they should have done a lot of research. They also plan organizing speeches, they put practice performing, all of that stuff. So there is a lot of suggestions in this direction paragraph for you of things to focus on. We'll come back to this feedback box in just a moment. And this rubric is here just to make things really easy on you so you know exactly how to focus your feedback. Please be as fair and an, as and as accurate as you can. Don't give really low scores unless you really need to because remember we're trying to teach them and be gentle, but also help them get better. So if you do give really low scores, you must explain it in the comments. So time we've already talked about. Remember that they are supposed to be arguing something. So do they answer the question? Did they actually make it clear that they know what they're talking about? They should make sure they're using a variety of sources and making it clear that they have lots of them in their speech. They should try and make it as organized as possible, but keep in mind they only have 20 minutes. So um, they are, it's one of the, the challenges of extemporaneous. They should actually focus on their voice and their physical delivery. So all of those public speaking skills, eye contact and uh, speakers triangles, hand gestures. And then last but not least, does, does the speaker seem like they actually care? Um, keep in mind, a lot of them are nervous, so be gentle with them, but uh, let them know how it came across to you as the judge. Is it clear that they actually care about this? So count up your scores from this part and put the total score here. Then when you're going to rank, rank them, Basically, you're going to think about all the speakers you saw. Usually it's anywhere from four to six. So out of those kids you saw, who was the best? First is best, and then second is second best, third is third best. The fifth place is the lowest. So if you had more than five speakers, um, the lowest, number five can repeat. And um, they will then get their overall ranking and maybe even a medal at the tournament based on not only were they first in this round or second or third, plus their speaker points. So both of these together are very important that you're cons um, considering them carefully. Now, if you need help, extra help with the actual speaker points, please refer to these suggestions right here and know that 100 is the best. And we definitely would try and not give anyone below 50. That's in for really extreme circumstances. Please sign right here to show that this is your official decision. Now, back up here, Please remember that 
uh, the students and the coaches really look at your feedback carefully. The students love your positive feedback and they like no knowing what worked well, but please give as much really specific feedback as you can in this box about what the debater can specifically focus on. And if you need suggestions, remember, use this down here, but be as specific as possible. The more you can give, the better. And we really appreciate your help. Thank you so much.